let's design a trigger sensor. Hey guys, welcome back. For my home automation, I needed low-cost, battery-based, real-time trigger sensors. I want to use them to check if a door has been opened or closed, if motion is detected in a specific area, or to use as light switches. And here is what I was able to achieve. A sensor that only uses microamps while in standby. This makes it ideal for battery operation. It has a very short trigger time, less than 240 milliseconds. It is practically real time and is also great for battery life. In my design, I used an ESP8266 module, an itty tiny microcontroller, and a transistor. All costing just a few bucks. The sensors send their data to this, let's call it the hub. It keeps track of all the sensor state, battery level, and timestamp. All changes received from the sensor are published on external MQTT server. These MQTT topics can then be used to integrate with home automation systems like Home Assistant or Node-RED. Furthermore, the hub automatically discovers the sensors and is configured using a web interface. This is where you update your Wi-Fi and MQTT credentials. Here are some of the sensors I built. One on a breadboard, one on a perf board, and two on custom PCPs I've designed. Now let me give you a quick demo. I used the custom PCB version to create a very small door sensor. When the door is opened, the lights turn off. Another example, it's when it's paired with a motion sensor, it can toggle the light. It can also be used as a fake wall switch that's not connected to mains and can act like a real switch. Now let's talk on how it's able to do all of this. The sensor contains an ET tiny that listens to interrupts from an external device like a read switch, a motion sensor, or a toggle switch. After an interrupt, it wakes up and powers up the ESP8266. The ESP reads the new switch state and the battery voltage and send them over to the hub using ESP now. When it is done, it signals the ET Tiny. The ET Tiny then turns off the ESP8266 and goes back to sleep. While in standby mode, the ET Tiny is in power down mode, consuming around one tenth of a microamp, and the ESP8266 is off. In active mode, the ET Tiny consumes 1.2 milliamps and the ESP averaging around 50 milliamps with a very short 400 milliamp spike. The active mode lasts for 240 milliseconds. Inside the hub, there are two D1 minis. The first one acts as a receiver for ESP now. It passes the information it receives to the second D1 mini. The second D1 Mini uses this information to push the sensor's data to an MQTT server over a unique topic per sensor. This unique topic is created using the sensor's MAC address. And that's the whole system in a nutshell. The links to access all my work is in the description. This includes the schematics, the code for the ET Tiny, and the 3 ESP8266. If you are interested in building this, I plan to publish an instructional video showing you how to put everything together. I also plan on revisiting the power management for the ESP8266 as I have been using a LiPo battery directly. So that's it for me. Feel free to use the comment section to let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Peace!